Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April the 2nd, and today we are going to be drawing an angler fish from the deep sea, encountering kind of an old school diver, you know, with the old kind of brass helmets. So what you're gonna need today, pencil. I'm using a General's Kimberly 4B drawing pencil. Just my camera here. Good morning, everybody. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our angler fish. And an angler fish, most of them reside at the bottom depths of the sea under a lot of pressure. And so what we're going to do is we're going to block in our angler fish. And they're kind of built very kind of front heavy versus back heavy, because they're almost all mouth, okay? So we're just gonna use this kind of circular, almost like yam or pear shape here to block in where our anglerfish is gonna go. This is gonna be an open mouth as he's confronting a diver in the deep blue sea. We're gonna do a lot of shading today, okay? Next thing we're going to do is kind of block in where our hapless diver is going to be. Now, here's the thing. This is something that I've I've kind of learned over the course of some research on an anglerfish, on deep sea, deep sea anglerfish in particular. They are kind of big and kind of scary. Okay, so this is going to be our hapless diver. Okay, so I'm going to draw kind of a, a round shape for the diving helmet, the old school kind of diving helmet that we that we ter you know stereotypically see you know when you talk about old school diving helmets what they look like they are these uh, side cages so we're gonna draw you know lips here another lips over here a round portal on the back a lips on the side here like so and then also. One kind of on the top, but more face forward. And this is going to be him kind of being startled by said monster, deep sea monster. And they're about, they can grow up to about seven feet. Really frightening animals if you think about it. We're going to draw kind of a neck piece. And we're just kind of, kind of show... This sucker, this diver is kind of reaching forward for the the anglerfish, anglerfish, excuse me, anglerfish's lure or esca. Okay. And so I'm doing kind of a, a round shape here for his helmet. And just to show that nod to that classic shape. And then kind of a, a rhombus shape here for the chest and torso area. I'm going to put some little hints here, little square rectangular shapes here for a weight belt. Okay. A little rectangle here, kind of as a reference for his legs and butt. Okay, and I'm tapering these. All right. You give them some, and they wear these really kind of heavy duty boots. We're going to just show these on the bottom here. Okay. And they had a lot of stuff going on with their 
accoutrement for breathing. So we're just going to show he's oblivious to the big shape that's kind of coming up, coming out of the depths here. Gloved hands. Can I give him some tubing? And they were kind of tied off towards and they had hoses coming up that would provide them with the air. So they were kind of, they weren't, they didn't have tanks of air and nitrous. They actually were kind of tied to the surface with hoses, these classic divers. But again, hi guys. Once again, I'm live. Uh, I got kicked off. It's so weird. Um, this is really frustrating. I don't know if I'm competing for bandwidth in my house or not. It could be the issue. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're we're having some technical difficulties today. So I don't know what happened, uh, but we're, I'm dealing with it. I'm still drawing and we're, right now, again, this is a uh, deep sea angler fish that I'm drawing. And kind of freaky, but right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm laying down values. Hi Bianca, hi Ella, of deep sea. I'm using a distant grip. And I'm going to slowly, slowly and patiently build up these values using a distant grip and more the side of my pencil versus the point of my pencil. It's, it's hard. Um, just trying to, ooh, excuse me, maintain, but this is the first time I've ever had issues with uh, Instagram kicking me off. I don't know if it's a bandwidth issue or what but it's pretty frustrating all right so we're going to darken all this stuff to the left of our diver So I apologize for those of you who are following me earlier. My video that I'm gonna to upload today to, to YouTube is gonna be really weird. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, so again, we're gonna put really dark values on the left of our diver. I don't know what's going on. We're having some issues with connectivity. Uh, 
not even halfway done with the hour-long session I'm trying to do, but it could be that there's a lot of people going live right now. I don't know. That could be the case. All right, so regardless, we're going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to put some shadows in here. Give it some weight, and then I'm going to leave some highlights on the side here. Hey, Archer. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to leave an area of white. Around as if that is a cast light from our Esca. And these are all gonna be really far away though from that light. So they're gonna be dark values. And I'm using rounded Markings. And then I'm also going to put a shadow, a hard edge shadow here. Break that up, give it more of an organic look. You guys see that? We'll see how long my connection lasts. Same thing with our our weights on the weight belt. Okay. So we're getting there, we're getting there. So like I was saying, um, when I was growing up watching liquid television, there was a little commercial break, re-entry into watching the program. It had a, a diver who was deep sea diving, just like in one of these classic kind of suits. And he was reaching for this glowing globe, it ended up being a gigantic, Anglerfish, just like this. So we're setting the mood here. Again, a little cast light which gives it that illusion that, you know, there's light coming off of the esca that's hitting the edges of the diver. Thanks, Archer, you're sweet. Post some more videos of you doing some skate tricks, man. You're on fire. I like, I am terrible at skateboarding, but I love watching really good skateboarders, man. It's like watching magic. All right. Same thing for the gloves on his hand. Lots of shadow here. And we're gonna put shadow in the middle of the gloves finger and there's gonna be a cast light around that. Same thing here. We're gonna give 
have some highlights on the top here, but this is all going to be in shadow. Notice how I'm using lighter pressure. The closer I get towards the Esca hip. Hey, look, we got kicked off again. I don't know if it's the bandwidth or what. And I have a pretty fast internet. I don't know. I am getting a little frustrated, though, with Instagram right now. Really frustrated. So, yeah, so I've been kicked off now twice. No, three times? Three times. Oh, I'm going to go probably to YouTube Live now because Instagram is failing me today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So we have our diver. I'm going to do a hard outline here. I really have no idea what's going on with the internet. This is what happens when you're competing for bandwidth with someone who works from home. And that's okay. I'll just argue about it later. All right. So these values are going to be really dark. And I'm using cross hatching. Of all sorts to get these values. So as you can see, we're kind of building in values. We're gonna start working on our monster. We're gonna refine these teeth with heavier lines. Hey, Severin, hey, Wyatt, hey, Hugo. Darken these values and then preserve those whites in there. Okay. Darken these values. And I'm using a sharper pencil now to go in with the teeth because I really want the teeth to be kind of a part of that focal point to create that drama. And then I'm going to go through and kind of shade behind there inside the mouthpiece. I'm going to preserve some of the shapes behind it though, because because those are going to be describing the mouth, the inside of the mouth. Getting kicked off multiple times, competing for bandwidth. Sorry, Steven, I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, this is my 11th, I can't remember, 11th one of these, and I've never had this issue, so. I don't 
don't know what's going on. But I apologize. I'm going to work it out for tomorrow's live so that this is not happening tomorrow. Guess I just need to draw faster. <laughs> Sorry, what? Sorry, guys. I don't know why it keeps kicking me off. This is really frustrating. Could be that, uh, I don't know. Kristen Bell's reading another story. And she desires more bandwidth. Who knows? Okay. Same thing that we we're doing with the with the diver. We're gonna fade this out, but we're going to preserve some of the values on the side here. And make the eyeball kind of stand out too as well. A lot of our highlights are gonna be on the teeth, upper lip here. If you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm basically darkening all these values, but I'm preserving a little bit of an edge of reflected light. And I'm using marks to show the direction and also the shape of this beastie. So I'm gonna work quickly because I don't know how much longer Instagram is gonna keep me on. Sorry guys, it happened again. Oh, sorry. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it except press on. So I'm just gonna keep drawing as quickly as possible because I don't know how much longer this connection is gonna last. I have no idea what's going on. I'm really sorry for those of you guys who are following along or trying to do this with me, but I'm literally running out of time. Um, it's a very frustrating. If you're frustrated, I'm even more frustrated. I don't know what to say, uh, except I'm just sorry. I don't know what to tell you guys. Keep getting bumped off for some weird reason. All right. All right. So <laughs> my YouTube video today is going to be very interesting when it comes to the upload. All right. Now I'm going to go through. Kind of clean up some of these areas with 
this cut eraser. Go through and kind of clean up some of these lines. I might be, this is our Esca. Um, the channel is on the bio inside on my uh, Instagram account. So that's what you're looking for. It's not easy to find, I know. It's a school account, so of course it's really hard to find because, you know, just <laughs> stuff is not easy to find on school related articles. I don't know why. That, you know, technology. It is what it is at this point. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to use trusty eraser to create some cool effects like this. <laughs> Hi again. So there, we're using the eraser here to create a glowing effect. And the further out we go, the bigger the marks I want to make here. Okay, we're going to use the plastic eraser. Pull values this way. Just like so. See that? Fun stuff. Now, I'm using one of these pencils. We're gonna go through and just darken all these values here. as I can. And I'm going one direction first, apply, trying to apply as even amount of pressure and tight a line as I can. And moving down and away. And then I'm going to come back in Going the other way. Horizontal lines now. I'm going to use my trusty rubber eraser from Office Depot now to kind of smooth out my values. I don't want to use my finger. All right. I'm going to use my little cut eraser. Kind of clean up some of these edges a little bit.
And there we have it. I want to cut this one short today, guys. Um, because I just keep getting bumped off and I don't want to have to constantly restart this drawing. But thank you very much. Hopefully I'm going to work out the kinks for tomorrow's drawing um, before we go live. Thank you very much. Um, I know it's been a weird, weird uh, instant here with Instagram Live, but I will work it out for tomorrow. Thank you very much again for joining me today.